Hello guys and welcome to another video of mine. Today I'm gonna be, be exploring actually. You know about Android. You know about how how far has Android come in the past ten years. So so this one to my left here is my is my primary phone, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Which of course came out in 2019. And of course it of course it's running the latest version of Android, Android 11 Reese's. Now this phone right here is a ZTE uh with CTE, what's, what's it called, a uh, warp, something like that, 860, 820, something like that. Anyway, this CTE phone, uh, you know, made for Boost Mobile. And the, and the, and this phone here came out in November, November 2011. And the, and this phone here is, a. Uh, is running running Android 2.3.5 Gingerbread. So we can go ahead and turn both of these on. Okay. And turn this one on. Now comparing them, you you can already notice a drastic difference. You know, you do still have the Play Store here. You know, it shows all of that. However, when I open up this Play Store, it asks me to log into my Google account. So watch what happens when I sign, sign in. Type in my password. All right. After we got the password in, done, sign in. See, for some reason, it's, it's saying, saying that my username and password don't match. Which it actually does match. However, I'm, I'm thinking that this, this Play Store is so outdated that, that it's no longer letting me sign into my account. So, that's a no good. So, we're going to get out of that. So Play Store can, don't work. And obviously, here's the Play Store. All right. Let's see how Facebook works. Okay. Okay, Facebook on the on the S10 running Android 11. Let's see if I can get into Facebook on here. Facebook. Good. Just using the default browser. Okay, it looks like it loads the mobile with mobile site. So let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and log into it. Just using my email.
It's not really as quick as this type one, so I'm gonna try logging on my password. Let's see here. It's a It changes for some reason. I think I put Gmail and must have changed it or something. Yeah, I think it changed it. I don't know why it wants to do that. It's kind of annoying. Try this again. It's funny that this keyboard don't seem to recognize Gmail. So I have to take that word dot com. Okay. Do my password again. And it looks like a, looks like we can log into the mobile site. Going to Google to fetch a nice Continue. I guess I verify my birth date, 11th of May, 1984. And... Yeah, it looks like it's going to load, it looks the mobile site. It was kind of slow. Of course, this has a fingerprint sensor right in the screen. While we're waiting on that, you know, the physical rundown of this, you got the home button, it's like a menu button, back button, and search button. Apparently, when you're in the dark, it all lights up. Here you got your earpiece, uh, down there's your speaker, there's your camera there, didn't have one on the front though, so that's the only camera. And yes, I believe this cover you, you can actually take off. You know, it's hard to do with one hand. Yeah, it went to sleep on me. Anyway. I was able to get it off. Yes, oh, here it is. So, yep. Yeah. Cover comes off like that. You got a removable battery. It's uh, seems like the battery might have been changed out. 
It might be the original one. This one's from February 1st. I believe February 1st of 2012. ZTE, 1600 mAh, micro SD card slot. Okay, let's we'll see if we're able to get in. Yep, looks like we were. How are you? I know it's kind of slow. Yeah, at least it did load the mobile website on the default browser, so that's good. Now, lastly, let, let's try YouTube. Okay. First, I'm going to show y'all what Android versions he says. So, here's the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. This one's of course got Android 11. Hit number 11. And uh, this one. This one you actually have to go in here for settings. Android version 2.3.5. That's right, you get that up. So, N860. So, huh. Mary got that picture up. Not sure why it's not working here. Oh, there it is. Yep, you see the little gingerbread there. You know what the Android robot it looks like? Some kind of a drawing. Looks like Halloween, Halloween or something like that. You see the little gingerbread with the Android robot. So lastly, let's see how YouTube works. YouTube on here is, of course, of course, it launches up real quick. And of course, here, this actually does have an old, outdated version of YouTube. However, when I open it, it doesn't seem to want to connect. There was a problem starting up. Please check your network connection or system time. So that one's this. It's like the old outdated version of YouTube. You can still search, but like I say, It's still still not still not really doing anything so apparently that's the old outdated app of YouTube it no longer works but we could try going into the browser and see if it loads from there. Okay, www dot
Yeah, yeah, you just get a screen right here. It says your device is not no no longer supported. Please update to Android 4.0 or above to use YouTube. Okay, so we can't use it in the browser neither. However, I do have one last trick that I do remember actually seemed to work as far as playing YouTube. Last night I was actually able to get a Firefox browser on here. So. So we go here, www. Dot. U. Two. Dot com. However, here on the Firefox browser, it does actually seem to load up, so that's cool. Okay. Let's try searching for that same video. Okay, Vista. Vista install in two. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with a lot of that. <coughs> and this will be it here. Vista install. Yeah, it looks like it's going to load. Okay. Turn around like that. I think it's still loading for some reason. Sometimes you kind of have to do like this. Hey, how you doing? There we go. This is um, Windows Vista. This is the new exciting operating system from Microsoft. Exciting? Uh, I would have loved to have upgraded to it. And you would think with the disk and everything, I would have been able to do that. But uh, I popped it in my machine and uh, it seems to be incompatible with everything I have in my uh, computer. Now you're probably saying, ah, this computer's probably old. Uh, no, it's brand new, uh, and it just didn't work. I got the blue screen of death numerous times, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can load it into another machine that I think will be a little more compatible than my computer. Yeah, at least still playing YouTube videos with with the Firefox browser. You know, read the instructions <coughs> first. There we go. Really? Okay, that, that sounds easy. Okay. Yeah. Simple. <laughs> See, it's, it's not even loading well on this machine, is it? Oh, I'll get it to work in this one, though. There we go. It's loaded. And let's see. Yep, there it is. All ready to use. Wonderful. install 
call Windows Vista. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll go back to the home screen. Okay, last but not least, maybe see how the camera does. This one is camera app here. Let's try something like a... Let's try something like this uh, can of beats here, which has some text. Actually has a dedicated camera button up there, so okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's not too bad for you know for a sage. Obviously using my Galaxy S10 Plus. Obviously it'll do a lot more better. So yeah. Comparing them side by side, obviously this looks much more clear than that. But also you have a much better screen, so it's not too bad. Even though it's kind of washed out, but it's not it's not too bad for its age. Of course this is like real real clear. Alright. I guess that's about it and if y'all like this video leave a comment there you know feel free to express your 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 opinion about this and as always uh, take care and i'll see y'all next time uh, this would actually be the the comparison about how far how far it Android has come in the past 10 years. Also wanted to show some other apps here, you know. You know, most of them are mainly just... I'll go ahead and set this guy over here. That's where I wirelessly charge it. Okay, last but not least, you know, just show some of the apps here, you know, which, which are mainly outdated. Of course, last but not least, the maps. Now the maps does still seem to work, which is incredible. Yes. Waiting for location. It does still seem to work. It's pretty much about my location there. Of course you zoom out. As you can see I'm in Florida. So that map does actually still work. Of course, comparing it to the Android 10, Android 11's maps. Obviously, it show a lot more details. Yeah, comparing them side by side. Okay.
They look about the same, even though. You know, this one's a lot more detail. Well, this is about it as far as the comparison. And have a good day. And this is how far Androids came in the past 10 years. Have a good day.